video and design is such a complicated field now. So many different things feed into that. It's not possible that one person could be an expert in all these areas to make that project as amazing as you would imagine it to be. So you need to draw in other people, people that you trust, uh, people that have a similar vision to you, people that you know will challenge your ideas um, so that that they can help you make that, that end vision better and also that you can use their areas of expertise, whether it's someone who knows camera work better or whether it's someone who knows a uh, software product better um, or whether it's just someone who knows, who has done a project before and can help you see the process from beginning to end. All of these types of collaborations, um, whether it's with one person or a whole team, uh, make your project you know, as, as amazing as you might imagine it to be. There are many projects that I do that are just uh, small and uh, I work on them by myself. However, um, I'm always drawing in uh, either close friends or colleagues to, uh, to critique the work that I'm doing and to bounce ideas off of it. And I see that as a collaboration. Um, I trust their ideas, I trust their, their vision, um, and I trust that they'll be able to see my project in a way that, that I can't see it yet. And so I, I love it the, initially to bounce ideas off of them and then throughout the process, I like to approach them and show them where I'm at and get feedback from them. But if you have someone else that you're collaborating on, someone who's kind of looking over your shoulder, every time that you run into a problem that you think is insurmountable, that person can drop in and be like, well, what if you do this? And you're like, that's such an obvious thing. And I would have never thought of that if that person had never been there. And you do that for them as well. Everyone likes to just dive in and start. And it's when you dive in and start that everyone is not clear on the final vision. So if you are looking to bring together a team, you know, the, the, mo the best advice I can give is to sit down at the initial stage and really work out what your ideas are. Find what your inspirations are. Uh, write out a clear project statement. Storyboard. Um, and get everyone together on the same page. Make sure that you give people tasks that they will enjoy because obviously if they enjoy their tasks, they're going to be more committed to the project, but also tasks that they're good at. Um, so you, and you want to push them as well, but you want to find people that you can work with. Um, I mean, putting together a, a cohesive team for whatever it is that you're doing is, is important, but when it comes to these projects that you have sort of your creativity, your, your creative heart invested in, you want to make sure that these people are going to handle that uh, idea um, in the same sort of sensitive way that you're handling it.